When creating a video game, character design is very important. It's what separates Solid Snake from the Earth Defense Force. Sometimes, however, a character isn't intended to make the player freeze in awe. Sometimes it's to make us cringe. Whether it be out of fear, out of disgust, or out of agony, they usually have one thing in common. They are pretty ugly. These are our picks for the top five ugliest bosses of all time. Number five, Mr. Big from NARC. As a NARC, you show by example that dealing, using, or even thinking about drugs astronomically raises your chances of becoming a blood splatter. It also effectively demonstrates that you can't be a fat cat drug dealer without a few Deus Ex upgrades. When you reach Mr. Big, you're under the assumption that he'll look like Kingpin with a mustache and without Spider-Man punching him in the mouth. What you're greeted with is the melted head of the villain from Who Framed Roger Rabbit attached to a Roomba. His early attacks are just as frightening as that description may suggest. He fires lasers from his eyes, charges at you, and haunts you with his terrible smile. After his skin explodes, his freaking skull lunges at you, spitting out tongues. If you can manage to destroy his second and final form, a few cockroaches climb out, suggesting that he is so despicably, disgustingly ugly that roaches were born from his skull. Number 4, Nemesis from Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil fans will recognize his face as a main adversary of Resident Evil 3. Others may have trouble finding his face. Sure, he has a mouth, and maybe that counts for an eye, but this guy needs more than a little blush to be presentable. A fresh layer of skin wouldn't be a bad place to start. Perhaps those tubes, or are they intestines, could be taken off of his neck. Next, we could fill in that other eye, give him some lips, and find a place willing to fit tuxedos for bioweapons. Forget it, just give him a bath! <laughs> Number 3, Andross from Star Fox 64. Andross is a giant disgusting space monkey head. He's also responsible for pretty much anything bad that ever happens, including the death of Fox McCloud's dad. He also has an appetite for spaceships. Several times throughout the battle, Andross will attempt to eat you. If you manage to destroy him, he takes inspiration from Mr. Big and transforms into a terminated giant space monkey. As awesome as that sounds, it's pretty terrifying the first time you face him. If you manage to take the hard route through the game, he turns into a giant brain. By the way, Fox refers to Brain Andross as his true form, which implies that Andross belongs to a race of gigantic floating brains. So, Andross, you show your true form. Number 2, Clotho from God of War 2. This one almost didn't make the list, and for one reason, Clotho is pretty much a giant breast. A sickly green breast with tentacles and more breasts. She's also bald and has, let's say, a heavy step. But her battle is a really cool multi-part fight that ends with her head impaled on a giant blade. Clotho is one of the sisters of time and the final sister you mutilate in God of War 2. Still, when you look like a gangrenous blob, a swarm of shrimp, and a dead tree all at the same time, you deserve a spot in the ugliest video game bosses of all time. <laughs> Last but not least, Xeno from Overblood 2. Overblood 2 is a pretty obscure game. It never released in the United States, sold less than 67,000 copies and released at the end of the PlayStation's life cycle. Still, the Overblood franchise had found a cult following in recent years. The final boss of the second game in the series is a doctor who is trying to create a master race of humans called Overbloods. He injects himself with a virus, mutating himself into a creature capable of defeating you. The best way to describe Xeno is the great Mighty Pooh from Conqueror's Bad Fur Day trying to mimic Knuckles the Echidna. We can't do justice to the amount of decent ideas poorly executed in Overblood 2's finale. So there you have it, five of the ugliest video game bosses ever. Everyone has their own favorite and there were several that could have made the list. Honorable mentions include Pigsy from Manhunt, Nylon from Half-Life, and The Baronade, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Leave a comment below, tweet us or say something on Facebook, and let us know who you would hate to meet in a dark alley. Subscribe to us on YouTube for more Fanatical Fives and check out all the good stuff we put up on our website at www.thegamefanatics.com.